Hi, thanks for visiting Crypto White Paper Recordings. If you like what we're doing, hit the like button. And if you'd like to hear more of our recordings, then please subscribe. And if you really like the sound of my voice, hit the notification bell. <laughs> thanks. Certikey, building fully trustworthy smart contracts and blockchain ecosystems. Draft for open community review and subject to change. The Certike platform is envisaged to be a formal verification framework for building fully trustworthy smart contracts and blockchain ecosystems. Different from the traditional testing approaches to detect bugs, the Certike platform attempts to mathematically prove that blockchain ecosystems are bug free. The foundation has developed modular verification techniques to decompose such an otherwise prohibitive proof task into smaller ones that can be automatically solved in a decentralized style. These proof objects can be built and encoded in the Certike platform's transactions and will then be validated by other participants. Thus, the Certike platform's blockchain is intended to work as certificates to decentralized applications and the implementations of the blockchain itself. That is also why these are called Certified Blockchain Ecosystems. The Certike team comprises world-class formal verification experts who are professors from Columbia University and Yale University, as well as senior software engineers from Google, Facebook and Freewheel. Previously, the founders of the Certike team had successfully built the world's first fully verified concurrent OS kernel, named Certike OS, using the Cockproof Assistant. This Certike OS work is a core component of an NSF Expeditions in Computing project, is nominated and selected as research highlights of CACM, and has been widely considered a real breakthrough toward hacker-resistant systems. These previous successes indicate that the Certike techniques can be revolutionary to blockchain ecosystems by making them truly reliable and secure. Introduction Blockchain technologies pioneered by Bitcoin and Ethereum provide a globally consistent ledger that does not rely on a central trusted authority. These ledgers can record the transactions of virtual currencies by collaboration of network nodes. The proof of work or proof of stake mining scheme set up a theoretically unaffordable computational cost to prevent false transactions. Therefore, it seems that the ledgers are trustable even without a central authority. Based on this trust, smart contracts and other forms of decentralized applications can be stored in the ledgers and form the blockchain ecosystems whose source code are entirely transparent to the public. In these ecosystems, the central authority is replaced by the consensus among network nodes and the values created through a system of decentralized trust. However, blockchain ecosystems are not truly trustable due to their transparent policy and the potentially dramatic benefits one may receive from a successful attack. These ecosystems are in reality highly sensitive to attacks and are far more vulnerable than expected. Although the protocol is well designed and highly reliable, the ledger implementations, like other complex systems, may have flaws and do not fully meet the protocol or specifications. For example, there are 703 open issues and 2,186 closed issues reported for the official Ethereum virtual machine implementation on January 15, 2018. Some of these issues may very well compromise the guarantees of blockchain ecosystems from the root. The implementation of cryptographic software library is also error prone. These bugs can expose security risks that may allow the digital signature mechanism to be bypassed and lead to a huge financial loss. Due to the transparent property, smart contracts and other dApps have to expose all their protocol design and even their source code to everyone, including malicious users. These features make some applications, like digital wallets, attractive but defenseless towards hackers. For instance, a variant of a well-documented re-entrancy attack was recently exploited in the DAO digital wallet, leading to the theft of more than $50 million worth of Ether. Since blockchain ecosystems are decentralized or unsupervised, 
any actions have to reach consensus among the majority of network nodes in order to become effective. Thus, once the dApps are released, it may become hard and slow to fix bugs. Take the DAO attack as an example. Recovering the DAO funds required a hard fork of the blockchain. This poses a new requirement for dApps, that they have to be truly trustworthy before being uploaded to the ledgers. State-of-the-art approaches There are many ways to improve the reliability and security of system software, but none of them can fully address these challenges introduced by blockchains. Testing is currently the most widely used approach to enhance the trust of systems. However, as Dijkstra said, program testing can be used to show the presence of bugs, but never to show their absence. It is obvious that using testing alone cannot eliminate the zero-day vulnerability issues. Formal verification is an alternative approach that aims to mathematically prove that the system is correct with respect to specifications. However, it is still difficult to formally verify practical and complex systems. Traditional verification techniques like the model checking are limited to ensuring functional correctness and suffer from the state explosion problem when dealing with concurrent stroke decentralized programs. Besides, some researchers insist on developing mechanized proofs for functional correctness using proof assistance. This approach enables the handling of richer properties but requires substantial proof efforts. In fact, while such formal verification concept dates back to the 1960s, complete formal proofs of non-trivial sequential systems only became feasible recently, as demonstrated by SEL4 in 2009. This result was encouraging, and it seemed not too far away from building an entirely verified concurrent stroke decentralized practical system using reasonable proof efforts. However, nine years have passed while this last step is still insurmountable. In the single core setting, the cost of such verification is already prohibitive. SEL4 took 11 person years to verify 7,000 lines of C code. Several researchers believe that it is impossible to fully verify practical concurrent stroke decentralized systems like blockchain ecosystems, and even if it can be done, the costs will far exceed the sequential ones. To address these challenges, one will have to answer the following questions. What to prove? Most of the existing verification services can only prove that the program satisfies a list of properties, e.g., quote, no stack overflow, end quote, or, quote, all exceptions have been handled, close quote, etc. However, such a list of properties is insufficient to ensure that the program implements the functionality correctly. Instead, the functional correctness of these programs have to be proven. However, writing down the functional specifications alone is a complicated affair. It requires a deep understanding of the entire system and a rigorous means of expressing the desired system behaviours. How to scale the proof development? The current proof cost has become a significant obstacle. There is a need to further cut down the proof efforts and makes it possible for one project to borrow intelligence and computation resources from a broader community. How to let others trust the proofs? Developing a proof method is hard, but it is even harder to convince people that the method is sound. It is not very meaningful to force others to trust some so-called black box proofs without understanding how and why these proofs work. There is a need to allow people to validate proofs on their local machines and encourage everyone to participate in this validation procedure. The CERTIK Platform Overview it is believed that the answers to the above questions are rooted in the blockchain itself. This belief has guided the foundation to develop a one-stop solution named the CERTIK platform, which provides a powerful set of certified kits for building fully trustworthy blockchain ecosystems. See figure one on page eight. Smart labeling. The CERTIK platform has designed a novel approach to specify dApps stroke systems using labels. These labels are expressive enough to formally state the desired properties and are compatible with existing programming languages, e.g. Solidity. 
By utilizing deep learning techniques with manually established labeled code base for training, the CERTIK platform intends to introduce a framework named Smart Labeling to understand decentralized programs not only at the syntax level, but also at the semantics level and then adding proper labels to the source code automatically. Layer-based decomposition. The CERTIK team is among the first to achieve modular verification by realizing a novel concept named layered deep specifications. This technique uncovers the insights of layered design patterns and makes it possible to decompose a complex proof task into smaller ones and verify each of them at their proper abstraction level. Pluggable proof engine. These decomposed proof obligations are much easier to untangle and can even be solved by some automatic verifiers. To enable extensibility, the CERTIK platform is intended to provide an open protocol such that more advanced solving algorithms can be freely plugged into the system. Machine checkable proof objects. The CERTIK platform constructs mechanized proofed objects or counterexamples such that these proofs can be quickly checked by anyone using their own machine. These proof objects can be viewed as the certificates to the verified programs. Certified DAP Libraries In order to improve the code quality and reliability of the entire blockchain community, the CERTIK platform offers a series of certified libraries and plugins to the integrated development environment for building more trustworthy DAPs. The use of these tools will cost a small amount of CTK as virtual crypto fuel, but will provide more assurance during the development time. Customized certification services. For dApps, stroke systems, e.g. digital wallets, with high reliability requirements, the CertiK platform intends to provide customized certification services. In this case, verification experts will help specify stroke verify the programs and generate a detailed comprehensive report. Figure 2 on page 9 presents how to use the online services on the CERTIK platform to verify two simple functions. In place swap, open bracket line 7 to 15, close bracket, and account transfer, open bracket line 16 to 25, close bracket. Specifications to these functions can be expressed using CERTIK labels, e.g. at pre, at post, and at inv which stands for precondition, postcondition, and invariance respectively. Since these labels are written in the comments, there is no need to modify the compiler and no switch costs for the developers. The functions together with specifications or labels will then be processed and decomposed by the CERTIK platform and sent to verify to solve. After the verification, the CERTIK platform's backend will return a detailed and comprehensive evaluation report. Counterexamples will be provided if the proof obligation cannot be satisfied. For example, the invariant that the balance is always non-negative is violated by the transfer function at line 21. As shown, figure 2, the CERTIK platform certified kits can even offer real-time feedback to help developers fix the discovered bugs. The native digital fuel for CERTIK platform, CTK, is a major component of the ecosystem on the CERTIK platform. CTK is a non-refundable functional utility fuel which will be used as the unit of exchange between participants on the CERTIK platform, as well as the economic incentives which will be consumed to encourage participants to contribute and maintain the ecosystem on the CERTIK platform, as described below. CTK is an integral and indispensable part of the CERTIK platform because in the absence of CTK, there would be no common unit of exchange to reward users to incentivize them for work done on the CTK platform, thus rendering the ecosystem on the CERTIK platform unstable. The certified kits on the CERTIK platform will be further powered by the CERTIK community and create a decentralized style of work such that everyone can construct proofs, validate proofs, improve solver algorithms and also contribute new proof obligations.
The Certica platform introduced a new mining scheme named Proof of Proof, involving the distribution of CTK incentives. The traditional mining scheme, e.g. POW, raises the computational cost by finding a formatted value, which includes all transactions to appear in the block, whose SHA256 hash matches some difficulty threshold. Finding such a hash does not create any real value. In comparison, the computational difficulties of our POP lie in the proof search which solves concrete problems. This POP scheme unifies the whole community through the flow of CTKs among five different roles. Customers can submit programs stroke systems that need verification through the CertiK platform services or any proof obligations that meet the open protocol to the CertiK platform's network. This is done by initiating and broadcasting a special proof request transaction associated with some CTK incentives offered for anyone who constructs the proofs. Bounty hunters are the ones who aim for CTK incentives and would like to share their computation resources. They will construct and broadcast the proof objects and then wait for the proofs to be validated. Due to the significant importance of this role, only users who possess a certain amount of CTKs are allowed to take this role. Checkers can get CTK incentives by recording regular transactions or check the submitted proof objects. Bounty hunters can only receive their incentives once their proofs are validated and checkers can also get a small portion of these incentives. Sages are the ones who plug in their proof engines via the CertiK platform's open protocol. Their engines may be randomly used by bounty hunters and will be evaluated through A stroke B testing. They can also get some CTK incentives depending on the evaluation results of their engines. Outstanding engines will be studied and spread by the community. Users can subscribe to all CertiK platform certified libraries and IDE plugins to build their own dApps stroke systems with some CTKs. These five roles will balance, guard and improve the CertiK platform's community. Along with the CTK flows, real value is generated by posing and solving proof obligations, validating proof objects and creating advanced proof engines. The Foundation believes that the proof stroke verification requirements are universal, which will keep the CertiK platform's community active. Statement of CTK CTK does not in any way represent any shareholding, participation, right, title or interest in the foundation, its affiliates or any other company, enterprise or undertaking. Nor will CTK entitle CTK holders to any promise of fees, revenue, profits or investment returns and are not intended to constitute securities in Singapore or any relevant jurisdiction. CTK may only be utilised on the CertiK platform and ownership of CTK carries no rights, express or implied, other than the right to use CTK as a means to enable usage of and interaction with the CertiK platform. In particular, you understand and accept that CTK A is non-refundable and cannot be exchanged for cash or its equivalent value in any other virtual currency or any payment obligation by the foundation or any affiliate. B does not represent or confer on the CTK holder any right of any form with respect to the foundation or any of its affiliates or its revenues or assets, including without limitation any right to receive future revenue, shares, ownership right or stake, share or security, any voting, distribution, redemption, liquidation, proprietary, including all forms of intellectual property, or other financial or legal rights or equivalent rights, or intellectual property rights, or any other form of participation in or relating to the CertiK platform, the foundation, the distributor, and or their service providers. C is not intended to be a representation of money, including electronic money, token, security, commodity, bond, debt instrument or any other kind of financial instrument or investment. 
D is not a loan to the foundation or any of its affiliates, is not intended to represent a debt owed by the foundation or any of its, its affiliates, and there is no expectation of profit, and E does not provide the CTK holder with any ownership or other interest in the foundation or any of its affiliates. The contributions in the CTK sale will be held by the distributor or its affiliate after the CTK sale, and contributors will have no economic or legal right over or beneficial interest in these contributions or the assets of that entity after the CTK sale. Market Analysis In the past two years, due to the extreme popularity of Bitcoin, the blockchain technology and dApps have become more and more popular. The price skyrocket of virtual currencies derives the exponential growth of the number of smart contracts and other dApps. There are more than 1 million contracts deployed on Ethereum on January 2018, while this number was only about 0.12 million a year and a half ago. Many people believe that blockchain will fundamentally change every aspect of our lives the development infrastructure is improved daily and it can be expected that this exponential growth of deployed smart contract will continue in the future. Based on the current growth rate, the total amount of such dApps will probably reach 10 million in the next one to two years. Market size estimation. Most of the existing smart contracts and dApps are dealing with virtual currencies, making their reliability and security highly sensitive. There is a high demand for verification services. Existing smart contract verification service providers charge several thousand to one million dollars for a single service, although their techniques cannot adequately address the challenges mentioned in section one. It is evident that this kind of verification service is highly profitable and has a high barrier to entry. It only takes $100,000 as the average charge for a service. The market for such verification services alone can be as large as $1 trillion, i.e. 10 million times $100,000. In addition, the techniques used in the 30K platform can cover a broader market than existing service providers thanks to our certified DAP libraries and the IDE plugins that provide real-time and interactive verification feedback. These services can reduce the development costs by shortening the development cycle and replacing some of the testing infrastructure. According to our collected data, the testing development and maintenance take about 40% of the total development cost and a DAP with a good quality service typically takes around $1 million to build. In this sense, if the 30K platform certified libraries and plugins replace 20% of the testing infrastructure, it will be a trillion dollar market, i.e. 20% times 40% times 10 million times $1 million. Potential competitors. Quantstamp proposes a verification protocol for smart contracts written in Solidity. It utilizes the traditional model checking techniques and requires an intensive amount of human effort for reviewing the source code and writing the specification manually. This limits the scalability of their approach. Also, it is unclear how to extend the quant stamp techniques to verify complex systems like the blockchain itself. Despite all these issues, the estimated valuation of quant stamp is more than $350 million. Solified and Securify are another two companies claiming to provide verification services for smart contracts. Their services can only be used to check stroke verify a list of fixed properties rather than the functional correctness. Zeppelin is a testing stroke verification service provider that takes a significant percentage of the existing market. But most of their current verification services are done manually. Besides, they also develop a widely used open source framework for the smart contract development named Open Zeppelin. However, the libraries provided by Open Zeppelin are either not verified or do not offer mechanized proof objects. Runtime Verification is a traditional formal verification company and now provide verification services for smart contracts. Similar to the CERTIK team, they also have a strong academic background and have proposed one semantics of the EVM, named KEVM, but their work still remains at the research stage. It is a big unknown how their techniques can be applied to industry-grade systems. 
30K technical chain. This section describes the DAO attack as an example to explain the chain of techniques used in the 30K platform. Figure 3 on page 14 shows the pseudocode to replay the DAO attacks. The vulnerable bank contract, line 1 to 19, maintains the account balance. It adds the deposit value to the balance and reduces the balance with the withdrawal value. However, there is a server bug that the server first sends the money at line 14 before updating the balance at line 17 in the withdrawal method. Thus, attackers, line 20 to 32, can utilise the fallback and synchronisation features of smart contracts to perform multiple spend attacks. The attacker first calls the withdrawal method at line 29. When the money is sent back at line 14, the fallback function at line 23 of the attacker is triggered and another withdrawal method is invoked again. Due to the fact that the balance has not been updated yet, the bank will issue another send. This simple issue of the Dow Digital Wallet causes the theft of more than $50 million worth of Ether. Certique Labelling in order to detect and prevent these kind of bugs, one has to be able to precisely specify the expected behaviours of this bank contract. This can be achieved by using 30k labels that are lightweight but expressive. Consider the bank contract example. Its specification can be merely written as a single equation, balance equals deposit minus withdraw. Thus, one can insert at pre at line 7 and at post at line 8 labels with this equation before all the method declarations to ensure that this specification is satisfied. Figure 3 only shows the labels for the withdrawal method and uses postfix underscore post to represent the value after the method's execution. However, only ensuring this equation before and after the method call is not strong enough. Temporal breakdown of this equation during the method call may lead to severe consequences. The control flow can be messed up by malicious fallback functions and this broken point makes the whole contract vulnerable. To solve this issue, one can insert a at inv label, meaning that the followed property holds at any point of the execution. We weaken the equation to the invariant balance is less than or equal to deposit minus withdraw such that these values do not have to be updated at the same time. Since the fallback function is a black box to the bank contract, we can only utilise the at fun label to specify its known effects. The money equals to the balance has been withdrawn. Using this label-based language, the specification of this bank contract can be easily expressed in a formal and comprehensive way. Certique labels can be used to write any properties in the first class logic. The foundation plans to add higher order support shortly such that these labels are rich enough to specify almost all deployed smart contracts, dApps and blockchain systems. This label based language is well designed such that it is entirely possible to label source programs automatically. The foundation intends to establish a large training set containing certified DAP libraries that the Certike team is building manually using selected DAPs from popular domains. The foundation intends to apply deep learning techniques to build a smart labelling framework. With this framework, most of the shared logic and properties can be automatically labelled such that the specification and proof efforts can be dramatically reduced. Certike Proof Engine the labelled programs will then be compiled using the in-house developed Certike compiler. Different from the general purpose compiler, Certike compiler recognises the label language and can pass the labelled programs into an internal model for dApps. This model can be viewed as abstract automata defining how the dApps will change the system state, consisting of all global and local variables. This model is language independent such that the back end of the proof engine can be unified. The proof obligation saying that the behaviour of executing programs running on the 30k platform's internal DAP model meet the specification generated from labels can be converted into a set of constraints. Take the invariant proof for the program in figure 3 as an example. At the beginning of the withdraw function line 12, constraints for the at pre label is generated, i.e., C1 balance equals deposit minus withdraw. 
Also, one has to validate the invariant defined using the at inv label by checking if i2 not open bracket balance is less than or equal to deposit minus withdraw close bracket can be satisfied. Since i2 is always false given c1, one knows the invariant holds at the beginning. Then at line 13, the function call of the message sender increases the withdrawal value with the current balance. For such value updates, one can introduce a new version of the variable, e.g. withdraw underscore 1, and encode the update into the constraints, c2 withdraw underscore 1 equals withdraw plus balance. To validate the invariant at this point, one may check if i2 not open bracket balance is less than or equal to deposit minus withdraw underscore one close bracket can be satisfied. Here, given C1 and C2, one may have that deposit minus withdraw underscore one equals zero. Thus, any balance with positive initial value will break the invariant. In this way, the withdrawal bug leading to the DAO attack can be easily detected using the Certicate proof engine. This procedure can be done by SMT solvers, and counterexamples or hints will be generated if the problem can be solved. The soundness of the counterexamples or the proof can be easily checked with respect to the proof obligation, which forms the basis of the proof of proof mechanism. Furthermore, to improve the performance of this solving procedure, the Foundation intends to design an open protocol such that any SMT solvers can be plugged into the Certicay platform's network. These solvers will be randomly selected to prove some already verified programs and the results, including the execution time and the quality of the generated hints, will be evaluated. The solvers with better performance have a higher chance to be selected. Layer-based decomposition as we explained previously, SMT solvers often encounter the state explosion problem when dealing with complex systems. To address this issue and apply Certicay Platform's techniques to a broader domain, the Foundation intends to introduce a novel layered base approach. By developing the programming language support for building and composing layer-based specifications, the Certicay platform enables a disciplined way of decomposing a complex system into a large number of small components and proof obligations. Without using layers, one might have to consider arbitrary interactions between the current component and its environment. An invariant held in one function can be easily broken when it calls a function defined in another module or communicates with another entity. A layered approach aims to sort and isolate all components based on a carefully designed set of abstraction levels, so one can reason about one small abstraction step at a time. This can dramatically simplify the environment model that needs to be considered at each layer. In the past, the founders of the Certicay team have successfully built the world's first fully verified concurrent OS kernel, named Certicay OS, using the Cockproof Assistant. Certicay OS consists of 6,500 line C and assembly and is divided into more than 60 layers. The whole proof efforts are only about two person years. Based on these successes, the Certicay team plans to create a new layered base verification framework that is suitable to reason about blockchain ecosystems. The key idea is to model the behaviours of the environment, including the context contracts and context nodes, in a compositional way. Recall the DAO attack example. The root of that bug is the neglect of the context fallback functions. By proving that each layer component meets its layer specification under arbitrary context and linking all the proofs together, the end-to-end -end correctness of the entire system can be guaranteed. Roadmap and Project Plan Figure 4 shows the roadmap of the Certicay platform. The proof of concept of the Certicay platform's techniques and community started in December 2017. The product development plan is quite aggressive. The Foundation plans to launch the alpha version of Certicay Smart Labeling and the layered verification techniques by the end of February 2018. These prototypes can then be played with and improved by an online community established by the Certicay team.
To demonstrate the power of its approach, the Foundation aims for establishing business partnerships with at least 10 organisations in the blockchain community once the beta version of the CERTIK platform is launched in April. These kinds of partnerships will be further expanded to reach at least 20 partners by the end of June 2018. The Foundation will then focus on developing new verification techniques, maintaining the CERTIK platform's community and further spread this idea of decentralised certification. The distributor of CTK shall be an affiliate of the Foundation. At the early stage, the code development and the cluster establishment will take up the most significant portion of the budget. Research, legal and financial consulting are also necessary. Thereafter, once the alpha version is complete, the Foundation will allocate more resources on building and maintaining the CERTIK community to promote the ideology of the Foundation and expand the influence of the CERTIK platform. The Foundation will continuously provide tutorials about the CERTIK platform services and provide detailed instructions for developers, stroke miners, stroke users on how to participate in the verification process. The Foundation plans to make a series of technical talk videos about the CERTIK platform and maintain them on social media. Further, the Foundation plans to utilise its academic resources to give lectures, hold seminars and even organise summer schools on how to build trustworthy blockchain ecosystems. In addition, the Foundation plans to build a strong development team by hiring at least 20 software engineers and research scientists. The Foundation will keep evolving the CERTIK platform, making sure its technologies are always leading the market. Team Leaders, page 18. Professor Ronghui Gu, co-founder. Assistant Professor, Columbia University. Ronghui Gu is a tenure-track assistant professor of computer science at Columbia University. He obtained his PhD in computer science from Yale University in 2016, where his dissertation won the Distinction Dissertation Award at Yale and was nominated for the ACEM Dissertation Award. He obtained his BS from Tsinghua University in 2011. Professor Gu is an expert in formal verification of system software. He was the primary designer and developer of 30K OS, the world's first fully verified concurrent OS kernel. His OSDI 16 paper on 30K OS has been nominated and selected for publication in the Research Highlights section of the CACM. Professor Zhong Xiao, co-founder, Chair of Computer Science Department, Yale University, Thomas L. Kempner Professor, Yale University. Zhong Xiao is Thomas L. Kempner Professor and Department Chair in the Department of Computer Science at Yale University. He earned his PhD in computer science from Princeton University in 1994. During his early career, he was a key developer of the SML and J compiler and the main architect of its Flint certifying infrastructure. In recent years, Xiao has been a leading figure working on the highly visible research fields on cybersecurity, programming languages, operating systems and certified software. He and his Flint group at Yale have developed the world's first hacker-resistant concurrent operating system, 30K OS, a major milestone toward building cyber-physical systems that are provably free from software vulnerabilities. Xiao is the author or co-author of 90 articles in top scientific journals and conferences. Dr. Wilhelm Hoberi, research scientist, associate research scientist, Yale University, PhD, University of Pennsylvania, John C. Reynolds Doctoral Dissertation Award winner 2016. Wilhelm Hoberi is an Associate Research Scientist at Yale University. He received his PhD in Computer Science from the University of Pennsylvania in 2015. He is an expert in software verification, programming languages and type systems. Currently, he is interested in language support for layered verification systems like 30 KOS. Dr. Hoberi is the winner of 2016 ACM SIGPLAN John C. Reynolds Doctoral Dissertation Award. Risks You acknowledge and agree that there are numerous risks associated with purchasing CTK, holding CTK and using CTK for participation in the CERTIK platform. 6.1 Uncertain Regulations and Enforcement Actions Uncertain Regulations and Enforcement Actions 
The regulatory status of CTK and distributed ledger technology is unclear or unsettled in many jurisdictions. It is impossible to predict how, when or whether regulatory agencies may apply existing regulations or create new regulations with respect to such technology and its applications, including CTK and or the CERTIK platform. Regulatory actions could negatively impact CTK and or the CERTIK platform in various ways. The foundation or its affiliates may cease operations in a jurisdiction in the event that regulatory actions or changes to law or regulation make it illegal to operate in such jurisdiction or commercially undesirable to obtain the necessary regulatory approvals to operate in such jurisdiction. After consulting with a wide range of legal advisors and continuous analysis of the development and legal structure of virtual currencies, the Foundation will apply a cautious approach toward the sale of CTK. For the sale of CTK, the Foundation is working with Sedek Law LLC, a boutique corporate law firm in Singapore with a good reputation in the blockchain space. Loss of talent the development of the CERTIK platform depends on the continued cooperation of the existing technical team and expert consultants who are highly knowledgeable and experienced in their respective sectors. The loss of any member may adversely affect the CERTIK platform or its future development. Failure to develop There is the risk that the development of the CERTIK platform will not be executed or implemented as planned for a variety of reasons including without limitation the event of a decline in the prices of any digital asset, virtual currency or CTK, unforeseen technical difficulties and shortage of development funds for activities. Other risks. In addition to the aforementioned risks, there are other risks, as more particularly set out in the terms and conditions, associated with your purchase, holding and use of CTK, including those that the Foundation cannot anticipate. Such risks may further materialise as unanticipated variations or combinations of the aforementioned risks. You should conduct full due diligence on the Foundation, its affiliates and the CERTIK team, as well as understand the overall framework and vision for the CERTIK platform prior to purchasing CTK. Please refer to pages 20 and 21 for a list of references used for the CERTIK white paper.